Hello everyone, this is Benjamin here at the Pedalhead Show. Uh, today we're going to be discussing the Mission Engineering uh, Line 6 SP1 L6 expression pedal. Alrighty, so when I first got this pedal uh, to work with my Helix Floor, I was super excited because more expression pedals, more uh, options there, but I was slightly disappointed, and this is why. When you look at the two inputs, one and two, sorry, outputs. Uh, output one is for your treadle, okay? And that controls uh, whatever expression you set it to in the helix. But also you'll notice there's an out two. Now out two controls the toggle switch, okay? So what's kind of a bummer is that line six and mission engineering uh, brought out uh, two of the uh, expression pedals, the SP1L6 that I have right here with the two outputs, and an EP1L6 that only has a single uh, one out, okay, for the for the treadle and has no toggle. Why is that? Because the Helix Floor and Helix LT and Stomp don't have expression toggle inputs. So this number two doesn't work with the floor or the LT. It only works with the rack. So you know, feeling pretty bummed out about this. I did my researching and there actually is a mod you can do to this classic crybaby uh, pedal and make it so that it will work with the Helix floor. Um, I'm not too sure about the Helix LT. I think it has less uh, expression inputs. So how it works is you're gonna do the mod um, and then plug from output two into expression three on your Helix floor. And then all of a sudden, your expression three on your Helix will be like a toggle input that's on the Helix rack. Okay, so I am, I'm gonna show you the videos of me doing the mod, putting it together, uh, put the sticker on there just so I know the difference between which one's mod and which one's not. Um, yeah, so let's go with that. Hey guys, Benjamin here from the Pedalhead Show. So showing you here today, we got the Mission SP1L6 Helix Expression Pedal. All right, this one has two outs. One out that uh, responds the throttle, and then one that responds with the switch. Now the switch built into this pedal only works with the Helix rack. So if you wanna use this uh, stock, uh, with a Helix rack, you can. But if you want to use this with the Helix floor, you can't use this because this is a uh, double pull, double throw, non latching. Okay, we well, need a latching. Okay, one. So the parts you need, I got here a Dunlop single pull, double throw, or a double pull, double throw. This one's double. Whoopsie. Double pull, double throw by Dunlop. Okay, all right, and it, it, it's latching. So basically the same part you'd have for a, uh, a crybaby switch. Two resistors, a 10K resistor, a quarter uh, watt or two watt, doesn't really matter. Uh, this is a two watt and a 100 ohm uh, resistor uh, as well. Okay, and then I also got an output jack just in case, but I'll probably be able to use the output jack already built in. So first thing we're gonna do is pop the bottom plate off of this guy and roll from there. So here I have the back plate off to the expression pedal. And as we can see here, it's all soldered down to PCB boards, all right? So we're not gonna be dealing with the potentiometer down here, but we will be using these two wires to wire to the switch, okay? So one of these, can't really tell which one because they're not color-coded. Uh, let's see here. Does not say. Hmm. So we're gonna have to guess there, okay? They're already stripped, ready to go. Uh, we're gonna solder one of these 
to the common middle of the new switch. And we're gonna solder the other one to the ends of both of these. Okay, so here I have the quick plug switch with those two wires that were initially from the uh, Mission Engineering Line 6 pedal for the toggle uh, output. I have my Dunlop double pull double throw switch, soldering iron, and my solder. So I'll first start with putting solder down on the uh, the first common middle terminal of one side of the switch. In the description, I will leave a link of the modification and all the steps you need to take uh, with all the information there. Um, it suggests there that you're supposed to use a single pull double throw. Uh, I was only able to get a double pull double throw, but you should be able to use a double pull double throw as long as you only use one side. So that's what I'm doing here. Now I'm putting, I'm just really choosing from random which cable to put in here because I figured, you know, I might have, you know, three to nine tries of wiring which cable to which resistor uh, to have it work. Luckily, it worked on the first time. Since you're not dealing with audio, I'm not too sure how much of a difference it makes. So, so there I have one of the wires soldered to the middle common terminal. Now bringing out the 10K uh, resistor. Both of the resistors look the same. Um, so I took a piece of uh, black electrical tape and covered the resistor uh, that was 10K, so I knew which one was which. Now it states that you're supposed to put the 10K uh, ohm resistor on the normally closed terminal. I just chose right because it felt right, you know? Like I said, I was totally guessing at this point. So here I'm conditioning the terminal with uh, a little bit of solder. Then re reheating up the solder and placing the resistor in there. Make sure if you're going to be doing any soldering that you wear glasses, uh, protective glasses or goggles, a mask, and make sure you do it in a well-ventilated area. There we go. And then I'm just moving the solder around a little bit to make sure it's all there and connected well. I'm not going to budge. I usually like to set my soldering iron for around 350 from outside, and I'm not doing potentiometers. I might put it for 375 to 400. Just make sure to be careful when you're uh, dealing with hot elements. And here I'm adding more solder. Could be more reassuring to add more solder. So next up uh, leaves the 100 ohm resistor. And on the forum instructions, it says to put the 100 ohm resistor to the normally open terminal. I guess I just put it to the left because I already put the 10K to the right. All right. And now, as we can see here, I'm placing the two ends of both resistors together and giving them um, a good sturdy twist and placing them in a place where they won't come undone from the terminal. Not likely that they would. 
Now, this was the trickiest part, was getting this other wire somehow either on top or between. Personally, this is my favorite thing uh, to do when I'm soldering is putting cables together. Uh, but a little solder and as long as you're touching, it works. A little bit more of a twist. Eureka! It works. Now just a little touch of solder, praying that the wire doesn't want to scurry away. Alrighty. So there we have the common wired to uh, one of the wires. We have the 100K uh, resistor on the right of the common, and we have the 100 ohm resistor to the left of the common. And then we take the other wire and solder that to the two ends of the resistors wound together and soldered together. Okay. Okay, now this might be me freaking out, but I think I did it. <laughs> okay, so here we have my switch, the two inductors. I can't tell which one is normally open or normally closed. So this is me guessing, but I have the, I'll have it all in the, in the end here, but here I have my switch. Okay. I have the switch plug going to expression pedal. I can't really see it, but expression pedal three. Okay. So then I go to my wah. All right. So here at my wah, I put, I went for bypass the sign, switch, expression pedal three, put the position to 25%. And when I hit the switch, I hit switch again, I've done it. So I'll be right back. We're gonna put the wall pedal back together and we're gonna see this thing in action. Okay, here we are now looking at my uh, Helix floor. I got Helix uh, HX Edit up there now. Uh, so with the one expression pedal uh, with the new uh, double pull, double throw switch mod to control the bypass of the uh, wah pedal or whatever you want to put on the expression pedal. But let's be honest, th this is the, in order to make the expression pedal work as a normal crybaby should, where you hit the toggle and it turns on. Um, before that, I would have a uh, system where I turned the bypass for the wah pedal or whatever um, expression I was using for 0% of where the throttle was positioned. And then as soon as I let go of 100%, I'd go up and I'd be able to use whatever um, wah or whammy or whatever. And then when I brought it back down, it would turn off. Now this worked uh, well, but you know, that's, I'm, I'm not used to um, a morally wah or uh, or anything like that. I'm, I'm used to a crybaby as most people are, or a Vox uh, wah pedal, which properly has the toggle at the toe position, not the heel position, all right? So now if we look at HX edit here, As you see here, I have the position set for expression pedal two because plug number one on the expression pedal 
is plugged into expression pedal to input. Then I have the bypass is set for 5% or whatever. I'm just leave it there for 5% seems fine to me because it's working. And I have that set to expression pedal three, okay? So now this means two things. This means now I can finally use uh, my expression pedal like a crybaby. So the downside of having uh, this expression pedal now with the toggle switch means that I lost one of my expression pedal outputs, which means I'll lose an expression pedal. If you want that extra expression pedal, well, then you can keep it. But if you only want the one exp extra expression pedal, since you do, or do already have this one right here, then this mod is totally worth it. All right. So let's watch as the modified SP1L6 works under pressure. All right, guys and gals, thank you so much for sticking around to watch this. Hopefully, this mod will help you out with your Helix Floor, Helix LT. Uh, you've been great. I've been Benny G. Please like and subscribe. And uh, in the comments below, leave me your favorite uses of an expression pedal. Do you like controlling the delay time? Do you like uh, tremolo effects? Do you like using wah? If so, what's your favorite wah on the Helix? You know, in a future video, we'll be discussing uh, the differences between a real phasal inductor wah with a boost compared to a couple of the awesome uh, wah pedals that are in the Helix. And yeah, that should be a great video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.